The Santa Monica Pier is one of Los Angeles' most visited tourist attractions, but today there are no tourists here, and in this video I'm going to take you on a guided walk around the Santa Monica Pier and show you what it looks like when nobody is here. But I am Chris. This is Yellow Productions. This is our traveling princess. She is joining us for this walk, but I'm going to put this camera forward again and I'll, that I'll be putting my mask up as I get near people, so if I sound a little muffled at times, that is why. Now, in this walk, we're going to be walking straight down the Santa Monica Pier all the way to the end. We'll turn around and then walk back and take a look at the amusement park and what's going on in the parking lot and finally end up at the carousel. Now, why is nobody here? Well, California is currently in a regional stay-at-home order. What does that mean? Well, that means that restaurants currently uh, can only do takeout. There's no dining in restaurants or outside of restaurants. Shops can be open. The pier is open. The amusement park is closed. But also, California says people who come here should quarantine for 14 days. And so that means there are just really no tourists here. Here, especially with the amusement park closed. Now we see there's a Bubba Gump shrimp here on our right and it's got some outdoor dining but of course there nobody's dining there. That is all fenced off. There's a little carousel candy stand where you can get popcorn, cotton candy, and some other Mexican candy treats. So I'm currently filming this at 10.30 in the morning, which probably contributes also to less people here. Uh, but you might be thinking, Chris, it's a stay-at-home order. Shouldn't the whole pier be closed? Well, actually, in the, the first round of lockdowns in California, they did close beaches and piers. But this time, the governor said, hey, people should go to the beaches and piers for mental well-being, get some exercise. And so that's what we're out doing today. And we thought we would take you on our walk. Pier Burger is open right here for some pretty tasty burgers. They also do breakfast burgers. Uh, Marlene's Beachcomber is just getting ready to open. The Santa Monica Pier usually has tons of street performers. Someone here is getting ready to perform some music, but there's way less than there typically were. Santa Monica Pier and this beach, uh, Santa Monica is famous because this is where Baywatch was shot, the TV show Baywatch with Pamela Anderson. Santa Monica is a very wide sandy beach. In addition to the pier, there's a neat boardwalk that you can ride bikes on. And I love this little wooden boardwalk that goes right here to a single bench out there. If you're looking for some place to maybe get your pier burger and picnic, that's a super great spot. Now, most of downtown Santa Monica is just up on the cliff above the pier. That's a great place to wander around and explore. The Second Street Promenade is just up the hill that way. Santa Monica is also the end of the famous Route 66, which is the highway that runs uh, essentially all across the United States, and it ends right here at the Santa Monica Pier. Now, one of my favorite places usually at the pier is the Playland Arcade. I like video games and they've got some Dance Dance Revolution machines. The Playland Arcade is closed, but they've pushed out some of their photo machines and the classic beach pier machine, Zoltar. You can get your fortune from Zoltar. Actually, it looks like that, that guy's broken. But this Zoltar is available and he speaks Espanol. Continuing down the pier, we see here the uh, trapeze School, New York, Los Angeles, where people are often doing trapeze acts that you can uh, pay to learn how to do that. That is closed today. Over here on the left is the food court part of the pier. This food court mostly appears to be closed on weekdays. When I checked on Google Maps, it said that they open Friday at noon. So not today, Thursday. The gift shop is open, Pier Gear. So you can pick up all the souvenirs that say Santa Monica or your seashells or your shot glass. There are plenty of little stands that you can buy t-shirts and magnets. 
Now, looking back at this food court, this food court is also the entrance to Pacific Park, which is the amusement park that's here on the pier. We will be going kind of through this and on the backside of it, but let's go ahead and just step into it for a moment. And uh, there are four, five restaurants here. There's Pier Burger, Pacific Wheel Pizza, Fish Tacos, there's funnel cakes and ice cream. All of those are closed. And uh, Pacific Park, usually the admission to walk through it is free. There's no admission to walk through it, uh, but then you have to pay for the rides. You can get like unlimited ride rest bands for the kids for 18 bucks or for adults, $33 or pay by the ride as you might. This uh, is kind of a, like a famous Instagram picture that you often see of the pier. It looks like an octopus that's the entrance to Pacific Park. Now the Santa Monica Pier actually is a collection of two different piers. Um, there was a municipal pier that essentially just existed to dump sewage out in the water um, and then there's the amusement pier they were joined to make this single pier sometime in the past it looks like a wooden pier but it's actually cement underneath the coffee bean and tea leaf is open so if you're looking to get your coffee fix look no farther than the coffee bean and tea leaf the wetzel's pretzels cart is closed uh, this is also part generally of Pacific Park where they've got some shaded seating and like a little gift shop as part of this Airstream, but it's closed. Now, walking down this part of the pier, uh, you can see here how it's made of cement. You can see that the top has the wood decking on it that's super famous, but the under construction is cement. And then they've got some lower levels for fishing down in the back and here we've got someone coming to fish today popular place to feed the seagulls got some people here ready to feed the seagulls are they gonna take it look at that yeah if you are eating out here burgers fries you are going to be inundated with seagulls uh, let's go ahead and take a look off this view again and say hi to mr. seagull that flies away so in the distance of the beach over this way is Pacific Palisades the um, oh, I'm not gonna put my hand there uh, the Getty Villa is down there um, so there's the famous Getty Museum but Mr. Getty's Paul Getty's house J Paul Getty's house was uh, there between Santa Monica and Malibu and then this landmass in the distance that way that is Malibu I should not put my finger in front of the camera because it wants to focus on it when it is there all right a lot of people often ask me about uh, are there wheelchair friendly places actually they've put this nice thing down in the middle of the pier uh, for it to be easier to roll wheelchairs down it i think it's also easier for them to wheel carts down it as well at the end of the pier here we have uh a restaurant we have the harbor office but also at the end of the pier this is one of the best places if you want to take a picture of the pier or you want to see a view of the pier you'll really want to do it from down here now this stand sells two photos in one they're kind of like hologram things so you can get a picture and then you get a hologram and that goes kind of back and forth and you see a couple different pictures as it moves that's pretty neat uh, here you can get a california license plate with your name on it and if they don't have your name no problem they will make one with your name or buy a kite you know super popular attraction at the beach is definitely to fly kites and this is a good place to do it Okay, so now we're passing underneath the harbor office, which one might say the lifeguards, but they're much more like the uh, marine traffic. And they've actually got an old classic picture of what the Santa Monica Pier looked like when it was first built in 1909. So this pier is over 100 years old, and you can see the original 
uh, two piers right here. One and two. Those are the two piers that were joined together to make this single pier today. Also, there's some bathrooms down here on the end of the pier, so if your bladder gets full, no problem. Now, this place right here, I love this gift shop because this is the last gift shop on the Route 66. The Route 66 is 2,448 miles, and then in this little tiny place, you can see everything is Route 66 themed. So if you want to get your Route 66 memorabilia and you want to check that block that says you've been to the really westernmost gift shop on the Route 66, come and pick up some souvenirs from there. They've got some cool letters that you can take an Instagram picture in front of that say hi. And at the end of this pier, there's often uh, like performers out here that might be performing music out here on this compass. There's usually people eating and dining here. There are staircases on both sides. Usually people are sitting on the sides of these staircases. But let's go ahead and walk up this staircase because as I said, this is where you're going to find the best uh, picture of the Santa Monica Pier and also a super great place for a selfie to get the um, Ferris wheel in the background because the classic picture is to have the Ferris wheel in the background. Now, there's kind of two main viewpoints. There's this one. This is the best one to get a spot of the pier plus the Ferris wheel and then the beach off this way. By the way, as we look this way, then we see this is Santa Monica Beach for probably what you can see in the video. Then beyond the tall buildings is Venice Beach. You get a whole bunch of other beaches. And then the big landmass in the back is Rancho Palos Verdes. That's after you pass Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, and Torrance. Then you'll get to that landmass of Rancho Palos Verdes. Now walking down this little elevated strip brings us to this other viewpoint that I should show you so that if you come here you can find it. There's one bench right here. This is the best bench to sit on in the entirety of this pier because you have this really amazing view. And so I said earlier, what does the Santa Monica Pier look like with no tourists? This is a view I've really never had before. Well, I had it 20 minutes ago when I did this walk before I shot the video, but uh, it's, it's something. And to get the thumbnail picture for this video, super devoid of people, which does make it great for social distancing. You know, this is a great place to come out and get some fresh air, walk down the pier, uh, but definitely, you know, wear that mask when you're near people. Our little explorer is saying hi in the back. I just want to point out right here, when it's not pandemic time, this is a neat um, inside viewing area as well. All right, let's go ahead and head back down. I'll point out this yellow crane because it's yellow and I love yellow. They use this to lift some of the um, harbor ships up and down, like the Harbor Patrol right there. And we'll head down this staircase. We could head down the staircase on the other side by the Mexican restaurant, but you saw the Mexican restaurant pretty much from the other side and looks the same if we go back down that way. And this way you can get the classic view of the <coughs> Santa Monica Ferris wheel. That's a helicopter passing over. Hopefully they're not looking for me. I didn't do anything. At least not that anybody can prove. Another iconic picture to take on the Santa Monica Pier are pictures of the seagulls. The seagulls love to hang out on these places where 
people cut fish. I guess it probably smells like fish or they think fish were there. So get a shot of the seagull and then the Ferris wheel in the background. It's your, you know, super popular. I'm sure that'll get tons of likes on Instagram. On the pier, you'll see these stars and numbers. These are where street performers would usually be. The city of Santa Monica gives permits to the street performers so they get certain times and places that they could be when they can actually perform. And down there we can see the fisherman we saw earlier. He's set up out here. A couple of his fishing rods right there. Okay, now we're gonna walk uh, back around the Pacific Park Amusement Park so that you can see the uh, Pacific Park when there's no tourists there. We'll go check out what's going on in the parking lot. It's really weird because there's currently no parking on the pier. So uh, to come here, I usually park on the pier, which is convenient. Um, but uh, I had to park down here in the beach parking lot, which was uh, $7, which is why you might have thought, Chris, you know, why didn't you start the video at the uh, Santa Monica Pier sign, which is the blue sign at the top, and well, because that ramp was closed when I got here, because the parking lot's closed, and so I ended up parking down here and starting the video just from the bottom of the ramp. Now, it's 11 o'clock, and I'm starting to get hungry, but I can't eat until I am done with this video. And a lot of people who've watched some of my walks I've done the past couple days say to me, Chris, isn't it, doesn't it get heavy with a little explorer on your back? And actually, this whole baby backpack does a pretty good job of distributing the weight, though I do think it burns a lot of calories. I've got that going for me, which makes me ready for an early lunch that I will probably try to take out to that bench that we saw right by the beach. All right, so here's the classic shot of the Route 66 sign, the Ferris wheel. This is also a cool place to come at night because the Ferris wheel has a lot of different lights and does light shows. There's a roller coaster to ride here. It is not the world's most amazing roller coaster, but it is a lot of fun because how often do you get to ride a roller coaster on a pier over the water, right? Not, not that often. You know, it's also interesting that the Santa Monica Pier didn't used to be as popular as it is today in non-pandemic times. The Santa Monica Pier, actually, the city of Santa Monica considered tearing it down in the 70s. But uh, there was a foundation form that said, please don't tear down our pier and they've done really amazing things with it. In the summer, this would be a great spot to take a look at the uh, surfers down below, the swimmers down below. This beach gets super busy and super crowded. All right, looking back this way, we can see the friendly pier police, pier lifeguards coming down here just to make sure everything's cool and okay. You can see the top rise of the roller coaster. They've got some holiday lights set up to make it kind of like a Christmas tree, I guess. And uh, so now here we can look into the park. There are parking vehicles in it because there's no people. Um, usually it's super lively. Usually these sharks are going around and eating the kids that are in them. Well, not really, but there's a lot of fun and a lot of laughter. You know, I hope once we all get the vaccine, we'll be able to open these again soon. And so does our little explorer because she is definitely ready to go on these rides. They have kind of a, like a modified bumper cars or small bumper cars. These are like the, they're like inflatable. Like they've got like inner tubes on the side. And now this is the back side of the um, arcade that we saw earlier. There's uh, another staircase that you can climb to get up here from 
the south side of the pier. And then looking out in the distance, I think it's kind of a cool view from right here, although we're looking into the sun because of all the perfectly lined up trash cans that go down there. And there is one person on the beach just right there. All right, so this is what's going on in the parking lot. This is usually the parking lot on the pier, which has no parking currently. Uh, it looks like they've set it up for social distancing with like markers to be like, hey, this green mat looks like a good place for you to relax. And they've put up some interesting art here. And I say a place to relax because earlier there was like a yoga class here or something, uh, which I guess the yoga class is gone now, uh, but there was a yoga instructor up on this little green podium on the right, and there are about 10 people out here also doing some yoga exercises. It doesn't really look like a parking lot, does it? I don't know, maybe they'll do something here other than parking. Um, the Albright restaurant. Looks like there's some people here getting ready to open it. Usually this place has tons of outdoor seating and it has everything that you might expect from a pier seafood restaurant. You know, I think everybody wants to go to a pier and eat seafood. Although I find it funny because, you know, you know, like, I think you think in your mind that if you eat the seafood that it must have been caught at the pier, so it must be fresh. But I bet all the seafood is probably flown in from Alaska or, you know, comes in through the port of Long Beach and nowhere near the pier in Santa Monica. It looks like they are building out this deck further getting ready for when outdoor dining is a thing again, and I'm sure it will be, and I'm sure this will be busy again. This um, beige building, brown building, tan building, is the Santa Monica Pier Carousel. The carousel, because it's an amusement ride, is also currently closed, but this is a really old classic carousel uh, that if you've got kids they're sure to like it i'm gonna go up to the glass and see if we can uh, kind of see inside the carousel uh, let's see can we see inside the carousel yeah there we go we can see inside the carousel it's you know you don't see these old classic carousels anymore and so uh, you can ride one here and then finally, as we get this way, this brings us back to the Santa Monica boardwalk that I was showing you earlier off the side of the pier. So this kind of sidewalk or walkway that's down here, uh, that's the sidewalk that you can take all the way down to Venice Beach. And down there, there's one of the original hot dog on a stick locations. Well, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy watching some of my other videos from California coastal cities. Check out some down in Orange County. Laguna Beach and Newport Beach are a couple of my favorites, or you'll find more videos just about my channel. But as usual, I won't say goodbye because the little explorer and I will see you in one of those videos.